Hello, I'm Matthew B. Lamont, and welcome to another Trailer Reaction Videos. You know, life is full of obstacles and challenges. Amongst one of them is rejection. The book, Gone with the Wind, faced rejections from several publishers. The Another Story, which is a book, I think, called Lust for Life, was a story about the life of Vincent van Gogh. It was rejected by all these publishers because nobody doesn't want to hear a story about some unknown Dutch painter. And there in Dr. Seuss, he faced a lot of rejections too, from various publishers. Another one was The Postman Always Rings the Doorbell Twice. It wasn't about the Postal Service at all, it was about sex. The Muppet Show, created by the late Jim Henson and his wife. It got rejected by various networks. NBC rejected it, ABC rejected it, and then his last resort was CBS and ITV, and as a result, this British-American co-production was a big smash hit. It was Boffo. And now, Ren and Stimpy, created by John Chris Felucci. It was weird and disgusting because who, cause it faced a lot of rejection. According to what John Chris Felucci said in an interview, he said he faced a lot of rejections. ABC rejected it. NBC rejected it, Fox rejected it, CBS rejected it, because nobody wants to see a weird and disgusting cartoon about a dog and a cat. The dog who has his high temper, modeled after Peter Lorre, and this cat who sounds like Larry from the Three Stooges. So with that, there was a duck. This comes to the subject of what I'm going to show you, a trailer reaction to the documentary, which is coming out on August 14th, called Happy Happy Joy Joy, the Ren and Stimpy story. Okay, like Ren says, cut the crap, and let's start the trailer reaction video. Well, you know the old saying, don't meet your heroes. And during the trailer, I, I saw something that I was reading about uh, three years ago. One of them was uh, Robin Bird and Kate Rice, the case that they got sexually uh, ab abused by John Chris Felucci. Yeah, Kate Rice and Robin Bird got sexually abused by John Chris Felucci. And because he put all these s pictures of scantily clad women in his work, in his artwork, in his cartoons, and he wants to, like, break, break grounds with it, and Ren and Stimpy did break grounds, but before Ren and Stimpy, there was Mighty Mouse and New Adventures, and John Chris Felucci worked on it, and then later, pardon me, and then later there was Ren and Stimpy, and that broke grounds, won awards, and it was weird and disgusting, so when he pitched it to Nickelodeon, his last resort, they said yes to it. Because they want to look for something that's weird and disgusting. And I heard the stories that uh, John Chris Felucci was a uh, heroin addict. And uh, 
I heard the story that he splashed champagne on the wife of the Nickelodeon executive and as a result he got fired. And the thing about it is that Kate Rice and Robin Bird, who worked on Ren and Stimpy, who were hired to work there, got sexually abused. And another thing, why do they, why do they work for her? Why do they work for him? Because they idolized his work. I know what you're thinking. In my safety film, Tech Central's Guide to the Color Code Alert System back in 2016, it was influenced by John Chris Felusi in terms of his animation and his character design. The part where the angry guy banged his fists and the, um, the, the audio recorder was flying off it, out of frame. Don't give me that lip. I want him a rant or there's going to be- When he banged his fists, the background changed to this red and orange and yellow painted background. I was originally going to use actual paint and scan it in on my- paint a picture- paint a picture with the abstract background of red and uh, orange and yellow, give this abstract look of rage, just like how, because it show the guy being angry, just like how Ren and Stimpy, and later Mighty B, and later Sanjay and Craig, where they're like, <gasps> they're like shocked, and the background's like these cool colors. They're like not saturated, like these blues and these purples are like all wet and drooling and down and kind of like a tie-dye effect and that's what I want to uh, do in it but apparently let's just say that I decided to go with digital instead now I like John Chris Felucci I enjoyed Ren and Stimpy but the dark turnaround with that where he was like his behavior issues is like awful and don't get me started on their reboots called the adult cartoon party that's another story but speaking of which Ren and Stimpy's not for everybody I mean I enjoyed it but my brother enjoyed it but my father he hated it well by December it'll be 20 years ago so I'm going to do some little rounding so 20 years ago my father and I, it was Christmas 2000, and my father and I were watching the Ren and Stimpy Christmas episode. And Dad kept on saying every five minutes, change a channel. Change a channel. Oh, this is gross. Change a channel. And I just turned over and piped up and said, Dad, does the phrase, I hate Sesame Street, sound familiar to you? Because I don't want to go change a channel and watch some annoying kitty show on public television. No, I was too big for that back then. Way too big for that. And because I know Sesame Street since the late 80s onwards has gone down to the dogs. But that's just another story. My father said, it's called nothing. So you want to sit down, watch TV and watch nothing? Well, all saying, if you don't like it, don't watch it. So, going back, Ren and Stimpy, Happy Happy Joy Joy, the Ren and Stimpy story, it will premiere on August 14th on demand, or, 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 or on demand, I think, digital download, or, or maybe in theaters or on demand. Go with the on demand choice if you want to be safe and healthy. With that being said, I highly recommend you give it a watch if you're into animation or you just love Ren and Stimpy or you want a real truth behind it, give it a watch. Also, I highly recommend to read the book Sick Little Monkeys, The Unauthorized Story of Ren and Stimpy. There it goes again. It won't happen the third time. So this is Matthew B. Lamont saying don't forget to like and subscribe and see ya!